remember where you're coming from. You don't remember where you're coming from. You don't remember where you're coming from. Rest the far I I. Why you turn your back on your brother when him need you? You don't remember the days I'm when him feed you. You know when no obligation, but you win some respect. All you need to do is just give him one if you get turn your back on your brother when him need you. Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel and to my kitchen. This is another vegan recipe. Come on and let's get started. Now let's get right into it. That is your seat and meat right there. The one that I made in a prior video. I will put the link below to show you how I made this meat right here. This is how I store my meat in my freezer. Now, you can store this meat up to months, like two, three months, as long as it's in your freezer. I just like separate them in di different packages so I could have it to make different recipes every time that I choose to. That is what it's gonna look like when you get done, right? All you're gonna make sure, you wanna make sure you squeeze all the water, the excess water out of it. It's pretty spongy. So you, this why it's good for meat because you could season it and it's gonna be full of flavor. What I'm gonna be adding to my stir fry beef recipe is, of course I'm using my vegan meat. You're gonna need flour, soy sauce, coconut oil, and your vegan butter. You're gonna use those to get it started. Let's go over our vegetable dish right there. You're also going to need scallion, ginger, onion, bell pepper, of course. I have some baby tomatoes there, that's what I'm using. It's, I want that sweetness from those. To spice the panache, black pepper and salt, lots of garlic, of course. It's some and you are going to need some kind of a thyme. Thyme, fresh thyme, powdered thyme, dried thyme, use that. Jamaican all-purpose seasoning. Let's get started. Now guys, this is your first step. Here you have your vegan meat right here. You wanna make sure after you tie it, there is absolutely no water inside of it. Just take your hands and just press the meat out. And then just make strips with it. Until it looks pretty much like that. Then add a little bit of salt and black pepper. Now you want to go ahead and add your flour in here and add a little bit of that all-purpose seasoning to it. You could add beef season or steak season if you like. Mix that in. And the flour that I'm using is a banana flour. Add your meat back in here and just coat it in with the flour. And move on. Now we're moving on to the next step. I have my wok on the fire and I'm just gonna add my coconut oil to that. I'm gonna add my beef in. Now I'm going to go back in with some more coconut oil. I'm going to add some vegan butter to that. And garlic. Also going to add some ginger as well. Now I'm going to add my veggies in. Some thyme. Vinegar. And some more of that all-purpose seasoning. Now you put your meat back in. Add some more soy sauce. If you don't have soy sauce, use teriyaki sauce.
like, share, thumbs up. Let me know what you'd like to see me cooking in my kitchen next. And as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy! I'm going to let this cook for a good 30 minutes on medium heat. Cover it up nice and make it simmer. And when it's done simmer, a time for eat. So, see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes. So this is in with your foundation for coverage. You know, like, bam. And last but not least, the last thing I tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here. Let me show you what this baby looks like. It has a whole bunch of concealers. I believe it's $10 for this palette.